Hey traders, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about how you can make your own custom multi time frame EMA crossover indicator. Now, as you can see right here, this table displays the EMA crossover trend based on multiple time frames on the single chart on the current time frame. And this technique is very powerful if you are into multi time frame analysis or time frame continuity trading. So by using the script that I'm going to teach in this video, you can code your own indicator and also add other confluences once you get full grip over this indicator. And additionally, from the settings of this indicator, you'll be able to use your desired time frames no matter what time frame you want to use. You can use all the time frames and check the time frame continuity across all the time frames for trend direction. So now without any further ado, let's get started. So instead of writing all the code, I'm going to paste the chunks of code and then explain them step by step because this will give me more time to explain than to write. So first of all, in our indicator, what we're going to do is we're going to take the inputs of the time frames, multiple time frames across which we want to check the EMA crossover. So we're going to use input time frame function and by default, we're going to use 60 minute, 240 minute, that would be four hour daily and weekly time frame for our analysis. And then the second thing is we need the short and long period EMA lengths, which we're going to use to calculate the fast and slow EMAs. So by default, we're going to use the 9 and 21 length. These are the default ones. You can use any length you want to, and also you can change it later in the settings as well. So these are our inputs. Now we need to build a function or define our logic. So if you have been trading or know a little bit about the EMA crossovers, then if the fast EMA is above the slow EMA, then the trend is said to be going in the bullish direction. However, if the fast EMA is below the slow EMA, then the trend is said to be going in the downward direction. So we're going to use these lengths. The EMA with the 9 is going to be fast and the length of 9 and then EMA with the length of 21 is going to be the slow exponential moving average. So we're going to use this logic to build our indicator and to check the crossover across multiple time frames that we want to do we need to define a custom function. So here we're going to paste our code and the function is going to give us the trend based on the time frame we would give it. So inside this custom function, we're going to use the default syntax to define the custom functions. And the function is going to be called get trend. So in the function here, you can see we are calculating the fast EMA based on the short EMA length and the slow EMA based on the long period EMA length. And here we're going to use this request.security function, which allows us to get the data, request data from another symbol or time frame. Any symbol in trading, we can get data by using the request security function. And then here inside the request security function, we need to define what symbol we want to use. So for our case, we only want to check the current symbol that is whatever symbol we are on we want to get data relevant to that symbol and then also here we need to give it the time frame so we're going to use the time frame as argument for our custom function and then we're going to put in these time frames to check our ema crossovers and then the third thing we want to do is we want to check the ema or calculate the emas at this stage so once we have calculated the fast and slow exponential moving average, then we want to go ahead and check what trend is going on at current time frame or at whatever time frame we give as argument to this function. So for based on that, if the fast period EMA is above the slow period EMA, then the trend is said to be bullish and we're going to assign one to the bullish trend. And if the fast period EMA is, there are only two conditions. Either it's above the fast period EMA is above slow period EMA or fast period EMA is below slow period EMA. So we're going to use the conditional logic. And if it is true, then the trend is bullish and we want to assign this trend variable a value of one. However, if this condition is 
not true, it is false, then we want to assign this trend variable a zero value. So the output or return of this custom function are going to be three things. It is going to be a tuple that is going to give us the EMA fast, EMA slow, and trend value for our function or for our time frame that whatever time frame we're working with so after defining our custom function let's go ahead and calculate our exponential moving averages or ema crossover so here we're going to check the crossovers or the trend based on the crossover across multiple time frames and since i said this function is going to return us a tuple so we are going to get the ema fast one ema slow one and trend length and we're going to get these tuple values for all the time frames that we take as input so that's that now another thing we will need to do we also want to check the current time frames uh trend based on the exponential moving every crossover so we're going to again Use the get trend function and give it that time frame dot period that is the current time frame of the chart. Whatever time frame we are on, it will calculate based on that. And now all our logic is defined. What we need to do is we just need to plot our table. So in the table, here you can see we're going to define the table as T and then give it the two columns and six rows, and then we're going to assign other arguments that are pretty much basic then we're going to start with table dots uh, cell func and we're going to pop or fill the table with the data so we want to define the zero zero that is the first row first column that is the first cell as time frame and the second first row second column is going to be our trend so now we can just go ahead and plot this table and start to see what's going on so if i just go ahead and add this table to a chart you will see that we'll get the headings of our table here so this is time frame and this is trend now we can go ahead and plot all the remaining table because the logic is going to be pretty simple and pretty consistent across the time frames so i can just go ahead and paste all this and we're going to fill in all the time frames that we have taken as input as here that is current time frame time frame one time frame two time frame three so these values these 01 02 03 04 and 05 are going to be the time frames in our table and then here the trend is going to be based on the value that we get from this function I, if it's one then the trend is going to be bullish if it's zero then trend is going to be bearish so here you can see that current current trend if it's equal to one then trend is bullish if it's not equal to one then the trend is bearish and also we want to change the background color of these cells based on the trend so if the trend is one or bullish we want the color to be green if it's not bullish it's bearish then we want the color to be red so we're going to use this consistent logic across all these cells and across all the time frames you can pause it or review this script and understand the logic if you have any questions make sure to comment in down below in the comments and now this is done let's just go ahead and save it and wait for the table to update so here you can see we are currently at 10 minute time frame it's saying the trend is bullish based on the exponential moving average crossover then at 60 minute 240 daily weekly so we are getting the data for our uh, table now one thing to cross check or cross verify our calculation or to make sure our indicator is working fine we're just gonna go ahead and plot the exponential moving averages at charts or current time frame as well so i can just go ahead and save it and you can see now we can actually see the exponential moving averages on the chart so here you can see the fast period ema is above the slow period ema that's why the current trend is bullish we can also go towards let's say daily time frame so at daily time frame the trend should be bearish according to our indicator so i can just go towards the daily time frame and here we can see and as the indicator suggests that fast period ema is below the slow period ema so that's why the current is bearish in this case and daily is bearish because right now daily is the current 
So as you can see, this indicator is calculating the values very accurately. And then we can go to settings and change the time frame. So let's say we are doing trading or scalping at one minute or five minute time frame. So we can use a little bit higher time frames like one hour, 45 minute, 30 minute, and let's say 15 minute time frames to check what's going on. So here at let me just go to one minute time frame. So here you can see across the time frames we are getting the bullish direction or bullish bias. So when this type of continuity exists, it gives us a pretty good idea about the trend direction. And you can also go ahead and change the lengths of these EMAs from here. So let's say we want to use instead of nine, we want to use 15 and instead of 21, we want to use let's say 51 and we can hit OK. And then here you see now the calculations have changed because if we go to one hour or 60 minute, you can see the fast period EMA is below the slow period EMA and that's why the trend is bearish. As you can see in this video, so as you can see in the table, we are getting our results accurately displayed on the table based on the calculation that are being done in this script here. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I would love to answer them. Also, I'll put the link or the code of this indicator that I have written in the description, which uh, you can copy from the website. So if you want to get this code, just head over to the description and follow the link in the description. See you in the next video. Thank you.